Today, I am ranking every single weapon in Rec Room. Well, at least everything that Rec Room categorizes as a weapon. Because things like frying pans and bottles aren't in the weapons section, I won't be ranking them. Also, before anything happens, I want to say that this is completely biased. If you get offended, uh, that's my bad. But you shouldn't because, you know, I'm always correct, so yeah. Alright, let's go. First, in the doo-doo tier, we have snowballs. You can't deal damage with them, so they kind of suck. Next, we have the rake. It's a rake. And then the shovel. It's a shovel. And we also have the ore. I know it does a lot of damage, but I don't like how it does a weird curvy maneuver whenever you swing with it. Like, if I'm trying to swing it straight down, it, like, goes to the left or... I don't know. It's weird. I don't like it. Next, we have the pirate sword. Uh, it's just basic. And now we have the first one that I actually like. It's a bench. It does a lot of damage, but it only has one strike on it. Because of that, it's in the doo-doo tier. And now we're in our top 30. We have the fish. It is a fish. And now we have the favorite of my Isle of Lost Skulls weapons, the broom. If you use it enough, it turns into a stick, which I think is really funny. And now we have the last of our melee weapons, the sword. It's the original, and you can have skins on it. And now the first weapon that actually has range, the crossbow. It sucks. <laughs> it's just better than all of these because it has range. Now we have the wand. It is the king of friendly firing. This one might be a little bit controversial, but I do not like the bomb. The only thing going for it is that it has a little face. And now we have the crossbow, but you can reload it. How cool is that? Uh, blunderbust. This one will be controversial too. I'm on quest 2, so I only have Isle of Lost Skulls. And in Isle of Lost Skulls, there's only one of these. And they're kind of bad to begin with because they don't have much range, so. Now we have our first laser tag weapon. It's cool, good for beginners, but it has like no damage output. Uh, now we have the whip. I don't know how to use it, so. Now we're in our top 20s. This is the most mediocre that a weapon can be. And in 20th place, we have the laser sniper. It's really cool if you can actually hit people with it, and I can't do that, so that's why it's here. And now we have the health. Chances are, you have less shield than health, so it's not that useful. And then we have the shield, because you have less shield than health, so. Uh, now we have the flintlock, flint knock, whatever it's called. The funny gun. It only has two shots, and it's not that abundant in aisle, so. Uh, now we have the shield. It is a shield. And now we have our first paintball weapon, the paint thrower. You might be thinking to yourself, But Callan, the paint thrower's good! No, shut up. Uh, now we have the grenade launcher. It's pretty good, but it's not that practical. Uh, now we have alcohol. It, it, it's pretty cool. It, like, explodes and stuff. Now we have the shield. It's the paintball shield, but bigger. And here's another laser tag weapon, the laser tag pistol. Uh, it's pretty good, but there are weapons that are better. And now we make our way to the top 10. These fellas are pretty good. And of course, we have the daddy launcher. This thing launches... Now we have the paint mine, the first one that I actually really like. This one is really fun for trolling if you like to make people mad. And if you know anything about me, you know I love to make people mad. And now we have the shotgun. This would really only be practical in laser tag because in paintball you only need one shot to kill people. It also really has no range, but it's still pretty good. Now we have the grenade. I don't like laser tag grenades, so pretend this is a paint grenade. Man, I love these. If you're good with them, you can really make people mad. And now we have the paint pistol. It is the ultimate decent weapon, is what you would say if you were doo-doo with this. But coming from a person that isn't doo-doo with the paint pistol, I really like it. And now we have the burst. It's the paint pistol, but better. And the laser shotgun. Uh, it is extremely OP. I don't know why they put it in there. I need to nerf it. And now we are in our top three. These are my top three favorite weapons in the game. Believe it or not. For number three, we have the big freaking laser thing. I'm not too sure what it's called, but I know that it's really good. You can just freaking beam people with this. It just looks like an absolute death ray. And number two, we have the bow and arrow. The bow is nuts, if you know how to double shoot, that is. And if you've watched about three select videos on my channel, you'll know that I know how to double shoot. Some people even know how to triple shoot, I don't get it. And now, the weapon that is better than every weapon in this game. The dice. But the best weapon in the game, in my opinion, no bias at all, is the sniper. And I know what you're saying, Callan, you suck! Yes. But the sniper is just insane. If you're good with the sniper, you win every paintball game. I mean, it's the same with every other paintball weapon, but still, the sniper is so much fun to play with. If I ever see a sniper, I will definitely grab it. But yeah, that's that's about it. The sniper's cool if you're good, but if you're bad, then it, it sucks. <laughs>